Let's discuss the sources of Islamic commercial law. Uh, we will discuss uh, after having this discussion, of course, we should be able to define the meaning of sources of law from an Islamic perspective, state the importance of sources of law in Islamic uh, way and distinction between the primary and secondary sources of Islamic laws. We should be able to distinguish between Sharia and uh, Fiqh, uh, identify the most workable techniques of law in developing contemporary Islamic commercial law and we should have a description in terms of early development of Islamic Sunnah, the, the available school of uh, thoughts. Uh, let's discuss the sources of Islamic finance. Before that, I should explain you the meaning of Sharia. Sharia in terms of literary meanings is the path to, to the watering place. Uh, all Muslims believe that the Sharia is the clear path for the believers shown by the Holy Prophet, uh, peace Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it refers to the commands, um, commandments, um, prohibitions, guidance and principles that Muslim believe God Almighty has prescribed for the mankind. Now how we came to know about uh, these sources uh, uh, ideally, uh, God uh, every uh, time send one person uh, who become who is called as prophet, and he has revelations. He bring messages of God and communicate with the rest of the world. So the words are of uh, God and spread through human uh, a, a human who is accredited and respectful in terms of the community. So uh, the God, words of God has been written in a book called Quran and the tradition in a way of the person of the Prophet has become the Sunnah. This is how the sources of Islam goes. Uh, there are two divine sources, one is Quran and one is the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh, in, in this, there are so many things like it's kind of manual who explain that what we need to do, what we don't need to do, what we will do will bring us in in heaven, what we will do which will lead us to hell. So there are certain prohibitions and there are certain things recommended and compulsory on us by the virtue of these divine book. Um, in, in the holy book it is written that uh, we should do trade and we should avoid uh, or we are prohibited to make money with the with the ways of interest now interest is something which is we have already discussed islam condemns the way of making money through riba interest or error that's why Islamic banking and finance uh, work on the principles of profit and loss, sharing, trading, creating a real trading platforms. Islam is a religion based on principles and rules designed to achieve the betterment of the humankind. Um, Sharia refers to the commands, uh, prohibitions, guidance and principles that God Almighty has prescribed to the mankind. Islam combined these sources of Islam in terms of Quran and the Sunnah that is the tradition and ways of the Holy Prophet. Source of law may establish a general principle as well that prescribe a specific law for a specific case. Quran gives systems, uh, Prophet uh, guide us how to do, what to do, what is the best way to achieve. Uh, Quran gives uh, guidelines on certain topics like uh, rituals, marriage, how to marry, how to divorce uh, uh, because these are sensitive matters which is uh, human interacts in the society every day uh, when you, uh, for example, like when you want to divorce someone you have bad feelings so you have bad intentions uh, how to contain down yourself Allah says that leave the relation in a good way 
So this this create a harmony when you follow the principle of Islam, Islam in your day to day life. That's why Quran teaches us how to marry, how to divorce, how to inherit the property, succession rules, commercial transactions, and in terms of criminal activity, what could be the possible actions you can take away. It serve as a source of Islamic laws and the principles because Islam uh, brought uh, in the world uh, over the years Prophet uh, spent his life to convey this uh, uh, wording of Allah so he practically demonstrate the principle of Islam in a society by saying action and uh, uh, the, which is taught to their companions on a case-to-case basis. Uh, we can divide these sources of uh, Islam into two other ways. One is primary sources, one is the secondary sources. Primary sources which is strictly written in Quran as a revelation and the secondary sources are based on human interpretation and reasoning. Of course, life is complex, changing situations, so everything cannot be noted down. Uh, uh, I think a company, a corporate uh, listed company cannot list down all the possi uh, possible scenarios. That's why we have practice guides, uh, we have advisory notes, uh, same like human life is complex. So we have to extract the meanings and apply on our life as a logic and reasoning. Um, we, we, we can get guidance from Quran uh, in two meanings, two, two ways. One is constitutional principles. This is like specific words, a principle of law, which is meant for general application in all places and in all ages. So no matter which society it belongs to, uh, if wine is prohibited to you, it is prohibited whether you are in uh, Canada, USA, you are in Europe, you are in UK, you are in Malaysia, you are anywhere in the world. There are certain things which is prohibited, so it is prohibited. There is no um, talk and there is no way out to do these things. Uh, these are constitutional. Uh, the other is empirical uh, readings of the verses that is based on observation, facts and figures. This is a second approach that is um, the uh, because Quran is full of verses that has common themes. So, as a reader of Quran and inspired from the Prophet, life and having a knowledge, you can get your inspirations uh, based on the facts and figures, uh, and you can guide the humanity for their future uh, uh, lives. Uh, there are of course five objectives that Islam is especially revealed to protect. One is religion, life, uh, intellect, uh, lineage and the property. So Quran gives all these solutions. In terms of tradition of uh, the Prophet, uh, this, is, uh, this is refers to sayings, deeds and des desits, uh, approval of the Holy Prophet. And so far, uh, they relate to the legal rulings. Uh, legal rulings in Islamic law has five categories. One is uh, obligatories, which is uh, we have we are obliged to do. Recommended, uh, what this is recommended to do. Forbidden, which we which is totally prohibited. Uh, reprehensible and permissible. These uh, these are the five uh, categories in terms of legal rulings. When it comes to the general principles, uh, tradition of uh, Holy Prophet provides uh, the maximum that the benefit uh, is in proportion to the liability of the detriment. Um, this establishes a maximum that in order for someone to earn a profit, or a benefit from their commercial transaction, they should have to take a risk. We can take an example like uh, uh, Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad's uh, peace be upon him to companion who wanted to mutually exchange palm dates. Um, they, they, but they were of different quantities 
and amounts of data. So Prophet instructed the companions that this transaction has to be stopped because it is uh, it can lead to riba. Uh, instead, Prophet instructed the owner of the low grade dates to sell his dates uh, for cash for somewhere, and then he can offer this uh, for the lower payment to the other parties. So riba should be avoided. In any case, we will discuss more in detail about these issues.